basketball. Now time for the starting lineups from Domino's Pizza, the Fresno State starters, the rebounder Larry Abney, shot blocker Melvin Eli, a good scorer, 16 points a game, and Terrence Roberson. With the backcourt, Demetrius Porter, the game-winning shot last night, alongside the nation's leading scorer in Courtney Alexander. Jerry Tarkanian, hopeful of a WAC championship and to finally, in his fifth year, get the Bulldogs to the NCAA tournament. Roll fence it right in front of us. Oh, nice steal. Roberson. And that's what Fresno State needs. They, they need Roberson, who's very quick and active, get in the passing lane. And you're the hero of last night's double overtime Fresno State win over Hawaii. Meeting Eli going to work at Kurt. So Eli staying in the game despite two fouls. Now, and that's a real gamble. But uh, you know that Derek, Derek, Jerry Darginian just doesn't have a deep bench. Oh, well, they're going at it. That's yeah. uh, having some war. Courtney Alexander, tough shot. Oh, high is Eli for the tip. Wrestling with Shelton, grabs another rebound. Boy, Eli is not backing off at all. Now, Eli's had a great year for Fresno State. Great, really the most improved player they have. Look at this move. How do you like it? Oh, Kurt, let me take it strong. That's what has everybody drooling about the nation's leading scorer. In the game is D'Angelo McDaniel, ball stolen by Alexander. Oh, well, Alexander soaring. Are you kidding me or what? I think Harrington had some thoughts that he might be able to go up with them, but not that time. Amazing when you look at Fresno State's history, 81, 82, and 84. Three year times in four years they went to the NCAA and not since. This is the fifth year for Jerry Tarkanian. They're tired of the NIT. Great block there. No Felix off the bench for Fresno State. Courtney Alexander high in the air over Coley. Can you believe that one? I'll tell you what, I thought Coley did a great defensive job on it. Coley was right with him. He just said, I'm going to arch it a little higher. Well, that's a great defensive player. Courtney Alexander has just scored twice in a row over him. Now a steal by Abney. Alexander with the left hand scoring to the foul. All right, we got the highlight film going tonight in Fresno. Courtney got off to a bit of a slow start, but he's made up for it. Well, the defense has keyed the offense. How about the pass by Porter, and then let's just switch it to the left hand and get it up on the sweet spot. Not turn it over. You notice now who's handling the ball. I mean, they bring Alexander out with, with the walk. That's a tough shot. Very tough, but not for Courtney. No, I was just saying. He's got 11 already. There's certain players for whom the... The degree of difficulty isn't a big deal. Shooting against Hawaii, but still scored 27, and now an easy two for Roberson. And a beautiful look by Porter. Every, everybody forgets the pass. All they see is the guy scoring, but Demetrius Porter, who just re-entered the game, makes everything happen. Kurtz will be a, he'll be a big target in there when the Golden Hurricane has the ball. Alexander. That's 13. Well, he is putting together what could shape up to be a big night. And a couple of times. I mean, he's been defended, but still able to get it. There's the matchup, but of course, then you switch to put Abney on. So Abney did a good job to recover and come over on Kurtz. Go right by Coley. See, Dan, I think the other problem Tulsa has, see, they can't make Alexander play defense. He's guarding either a Harrington or a Coley that's not really a threat. Well, Billy Tubbs, the TCU coach, earlier this week called this the Fresno Invitation. <laughs> well, next year it's the Tulsa yeah. Invitation. And Roberson buries the three. Well, Billy Tubbs, uh, crying aside, this is what you need to have in a tournament like this. It's got to be played on a home court where there's passion for basketball. And there's passion here. And he's being brought about a guy's go. Look at that pass. Abney trying to finish. Ball won't go down for him again. And it does. And remember Larry Abney earlier this year had 35 rebounds in a game. Last year was unable to be here in some health concerns. Uh, couldn't be here in Fresno for the WAC tournament. Demetrius Porter fires it. Look at it again. Abney, a rebounding machine. He sure is. And here's a guy that's just worked on his game. What you got to do is when he shoots it, get back and put a body on him so he can't get the rebound. Now Roberson atones for that, gets the two back at the other end. Nine points now for Terrence Roberson. And 
and over the shoulder. Adney drives the ball away from Shelton. Tulsa not happy. They thought that should have been a foul as Adney sort of knocked Shelton down and Alexander gets it at the other end. Yeah, it's like a four-point swing. The foul's not caught. I think the officials let the play. Don't make that lateral pass and make a mistake because Coley will get it. The three. And high is Eli to take that rebound from Kurtz. Abney cutting. Abney puts it in and he's fouled. Well, you love Larry Abney's shot selection. He said he's very streaky, but he can get it going. Roberson, oh, it's nice to see Roberson shoot as well. He's been in a slump for a long time. He's got 13 in the game, but uh, Terrence Roberson's made some big shots. He's really kept uh, Fresno State uh, going. <laughs> Larry had really had nine in the first half. Ten total. Roberson again. Okay, Roberson, it's a tough, really, matchup for... for uh, for Tulsa. They're going to end up putting a smaller player on Terrence Roberson because they want their big guy to go over and defend Courtney Alexander. Was the one right in the middle of it. Good job by Coley again to steal the ball and get that score. Oh, Roberson for three. Well, the points for Fresno are coming from two people. Alexander and Roberson have combined for 37 of 49 points. We've got to get the hill. Demetrius Porter, and those are his first points tonight. After winning last night's game with a three at the end of the second overtime. Seven, a terrific rebounder. Not a big score, nope. but you're worth your weight in gold if you can rebound. How about Noel. that? Noel Felix off the bench, his first points. I think Noel Felix will be a very good player for the Bulldogs before his career is over. He's just running. Guys like 6'8", six, 6'9", six, good leaper, pretty good shooter, getting better as the year goes on. Off the screen. Swanson's only 5'10". Alexander is 6'6". Six, six. Well, he can elevate over him. Shot doesn't go, but Adney rebounds. Roberson for three. Roberson is absolutely going wild tonight. Patience for Tulsa. Shot clock under 10. make something happen. Harrington blocked. That's going to be a violation, a shot clock violation. Shot Fresno clock. State's defense. I don't know how he got rid of that ball without being called for travel. And missed the three, but Alexander skies for another rebound. And then the two. What an unbelievable individual effort for Courtney Alexander. He's got 24 in the game. And he is calling for the crowd to stand up. Long one by Alexander. Wow. No problem. How do you like it? I mean, is he kidding me with that shot? That's the old, I'm not going to take a dribble. I'm just going to elevate. Why not? So last night, in a 100-all game, facing a third overtime, Demetrius Porter drains the three to give Fresno State the win and the berth in this championship game. you got to remember, too, Demetrius has had the flair for the dramatic. He's a guy that makes big shots at the end of the game, but I'm sure this is going to go to Alexander. There's no shot clock, so Fresno State can take it down for the win. I don't think they take it down. You're behind by one, you're at home, you've got fouls to take. I think you look for something quick in case you miss. Make the foul, you've got to give yourself another opportunity. So I, I think the mindset of the Bulldogs right now is to get it to Alexander, try to clear out, and see if he can create a quick shot. If he does not score, they got to make a quick foul, and then they got to foul again because they only have five team fouls. So well, they the need to move here. The conference championship on the line here. Fresno State trying for its third win over Tulsa this year. Roberson. Roberson for three. Oh, my boy, did they make big shots late. And if you're Fresno State and he makes this and you elect not the foul, you got to be thinking, we have to defend outside the line. Let them get a two, but deny them anything on the perimeter. Alexander. So it's a three-point lead, and Tulsa has one desperate shot. Well, Only to win back. Well, they're going to play it man-to-man. -to -man. Let's see if they, well, they are going to go deep. All right, the game's over now. Game's over. 
Well, they did it again. It's called a hat trick. Fresno uh, State defeats Tulsa three times. How do you like it, Fresno? A mad scene here at Cylinder Arena. Fresno State wins the WAC championship. They beat Tulsa three times this year by a total of six points. Uh, another great, great college game. And, uh, Bill Self and his Tulsa Golden Hurricane, I think, will go into the tournament and play well. But Fresno's got to go on the Ronald Roll, Ted, and they played exceptionally well. Fresno State wins its eighth game.